James and the Giant Peach Here is James Henry Trotter when he was about four years old. One day James's mother and father went to London to do some shopping and there a terrible thing happened. Both of them suddenly got eaten up in full daylight mind you and on a crowded street by an enormous angry rhinoceros which had escaped from the London Zoo. The lovely house by the seaside had to be sold immediately and the little boy carrying nothing but a small suitcase containing a pair of pyjamas and a toothbrush was sent away to live with his two aunts. Their names were Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker. Both really horrible people. They lived, Aunt Sponge, Aunt Spiker and now James as well in a queer ramshackle house on the top of a high hill in the south of England. The hill was so high that from almost anywhere in the garden, James could look down and see for miles and miles across a marvellous landscape of woods and fields. But James was never allowed to go down off the top of that hill. The garden, which covered the whole of the top of the hill, was large and desolate, and the only tree in the entire place, apart from a clump of dirty old laurel bushes at the far end, was an ancient peach tree and as time went on, he became sadder and sadder and more and more lonely. And he used to spend hours every day standing at the bottom of the garden, gazing wistfully at the lovely but forbidden world of woods and fields and ocean that was spread out below him like a magic carpet.